But as I said, the histology was what was very interesting and pertinent to what we're talking about with post-extraction healing. So after 12 weeks of healing, what you can see on the histological image on your right-hand side is the a tapered uh, implant, uh, and the green illustrates the biomaterials or the deprotonized bovine bone material. And you can see that this is now uh, the regenerated facial bone consists almost entirely of the biomaterial or the bone substitute. Now, what you also will see is that the, uh, the facial bone crest, and remember the implant was placed initially with the implant shoulder at the level of that facial bone crest, you can see that there's a vertical resorption of, a, of approximately 1.5 millimeters. So the immediate implant placement and the grafting did not stop the vertical resorption of the facial bone according to the bundle bone hypothesis. In addition, the width of the residual bone crest, and remember the implant was placed two millimeters from the the facial bone crest and that was grafted but that showed a resorption or horizontal resorption uh, leading to the residual ridge of about 1.4 millimeters in orofacial dimension so the original two millimeters had reduced to 1.4 millimeters once again demonstrating that in the early phase of healing there is a vertical and horizontal reduction in the dimension of the ridge even when a bone graft has been placed